Let's talk about colorblindness, or the fact that guys can't match stuff, at least according to their wives. What you need to know is that there's very few people that are actually colorblind, meaning that they only see black, grays, and white. Most people are color deficient. And the problem is, it almost always is a woman's fault. 99% of the people who are colorblind are red-green colorblind. And it's an X-linked disorder, which means you got it from your mother. It's actually very common. 8% of males in the United States are considered colorblind to some degree. That's one out of every 12 guys that are going to have some problems. Now, most of them have that problem when the red green spectrum. Imagine that a normal person could see 100 to 120 colors in the big coloring box. A color blind person could probably only see the basic 24 colors. But take the reds and anything that used red out of the box. And that kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. Those colors are going to be replaced with gray if it's red, or the red removed. So if it was purple, it would actually look like dark blue. So how is this diagnosed? Well, a lot of times it's just self-diagnosed in that you start noticing that your child doesn't see the colors the way other people do, and they can't differentiate some of those colors. So people will use crayons, and the kids aren't able to pick them out. Now, trust me, the most annoying thing you can ever ask a colorblind person is, what color is this? Because if they're truly colorblind, it's just going to be gray. So what can we do for these kids? Well, first, the testing. The most common thing is this little book called Ischiera's Plates. And these are commonly found in a book that the clinic may have or in actual plates that they can view. It's the most commonly used one, but it's not the most accurate. Now there's apps that you can get on your smartphone where you take the colors and you line them up according to hues or intensities. And this is how you can decide the degree and how severe the color blindness is. There is no treatment. They have found that if you wear colored glasses that are tinted, sometimes that helps a little bit, but there's nothing that we can do to treat it. The other thing you have to know is that color blindness can actually happen from natural causes such as age, trauma to your eye, things like diabetes, macular degeneration, even long-standing hypertension can cause you to not see colors with the same intensity or brightness that you would when you were younger. Just remember, this is very common, and you may need help. If you have a child that can't see red and green, they're not going to do very well on some of those coloring assignments that people will have there in their school. And of course, art is terrible. It can be very debilitating. Imagine seeing, not being able to see all the lights of a traffic light, or different jobs that might require you to match colors. So. If you see that your child's having problems, definitely get them tested and definitely make some accommodations for them in school if you need to.